Greetings everyone, this is Sean Van Der Veen, and I welcome you back to another one of my astrology videos. Today I'm going to discuss the characteristics of Neptune in Aries, a transit that will last from 2025 until 2039. Neptune will briefly transit through the sign, starting in March of 2025, and stay for six months before going retrograde back into Pisces in October. When it goes direct once again in January of 2026, she will remain in Aries until 2039. At the time of this recording, Neptune was in Pisces, but already many astrologers are beginning to foresee the coming energies of Neptune in Aries and how they will make an impact on society. Neptune is the second furthest planet away from the Sun, behind Pluto, so its orbit around the solar system is long in duration. It takes Neptune approximately 164 years to complete one full cycle around the Sun, so as one can figure, the length of this planet's stay in each zodiac sign is long in duration, around 13 years on average. The effects of Neptune's energy are therefore generational, affecting not only an individual, but millions of other people. Now, what constitutes Neptune in Aries energy? Well, let's break it down. In astrology, Neptune is the planet of spirituality, fantasy, illusion, delusion, deception, confusion, intuition, imagination, clairvoyance, clairaudience, and psychic powers. It is personified by dreams, hallucinations, daydreams, mystical meditation visions, empaths, psychic readings, and the element of water. The zodiac sign of Aries, on the other hand, is fiery and unsentimental. It is a sign ruled by the red planet of Mars. Aries represents the warrior spirit, courage, strength, brawn, action, energy, and impulsiveness. When these energies combine, it may seem like a strange duo, as Neptune is watery, while Aries is fiery. But in my opinion, this could just be the mixture mankind needs in order to evolve to a higher level of collective consciousness. As we all know, we are moving out of the age of Pisces and into the age of Aquarius. We are moving away from an age of religion based on dogmatic beliefs to one of science and rationality. Neptune in Aries will be the catalyst for a new ideological crusade. New spiritual ideals envisioned while Neptune was in Pisces will spread like wildfire. The so-called spiritual warriors will be called upon to fight against outdated spiritual beliefs currently being preached within society. Since Neptune also brings delusion and the illusion of truth, however, many of these newfound beliefs could deceive many leading to great uncertainty and misinformation and sev in severe cases, civil unrest. The last time Neptune was in Aries was between 1861 and 1875. There were two major wars based on the premises of high ideals that took place during this period. The first was the American Civil War. A conflict started when the Southern Confederate States separated from the Unionist North. One of the main issues was slavery, and President Abraham Lincoln had the vision to free the slaves from bondage. He realized his vision in 1865, but with a price, as he was assassinated shortly after the war ended. The other conflict was the Franco-Prussian War, fought between France and Germany in 1870. France had a romantic, heard romantic visions of grandeur and dreams of European domination, but miscalculations led to their own defeat by Germany. This led to Germany becoming the most dominant European power for decades to come. As individuals, Neptune and Aries natives are on a spiritual crusade to transform others to new beliefs. Often these are their own preachings, and others may not necessarily accept what they have to teach paving the way for potential conflict. Nevertheless, they have the courage to spread their visionary ideals, as, this, as the pioneering energy of Aries gives them the will 
to fulfill their spiritual mission. Neptune and Aries natives are highly compassionate leaders, and they lead with a deep understanding of those under their influence. As Neptune is also artistic and creative, these natives are also innovators in art, drama, and music. As new technologies emerge in the coming years, new artistic expressions will emerge. And I think some of the best works of art since uh, the Renaissance will materialize. Higher resolution quality on television and computer screens will wow spectators with their depth of color precise imaging. As well, Neptune and Aries natives are fighters of freedom as they view themselves emancipators of the common man from tyranny and oppression. I'd like to take the time to share some major historical events that took place the last time Neptune was in Aries from 1861 to 1875. The information I've collected was from wikipedia.org. So in 1861, we have the American Civil War beginning with the Confederate States splitting from the United States. And in 1862, the Confederate States invade the Unionist North. And in 1863, Abraham Lincoln signs the Emancipation Proclamation, making the abolition of slavery the main goal. And in 1864, the first submarine to sink an enemy vessel occurs during the American Civil War. And in 1865, the American Civil War ends as the Union liberates the South, freeing the slaves. And in 1866, U.S. Congress passes the Civil Rights Act to protect the rights of African Americans. And in 1867, Canada is formed as a nation. And in 1868, the 14th Amendment in the U.S. Constitution is ratified, guaranteeing African Americans their full and equal citizenship under the law. And in 1869, the first transcontinental railroad in North America is completed in Utah with the driving of the Golden Spike. And in 1870, the beginning of the Franco-Prussian War, a clash between the great European imperial powers, France and Germany. And in 1871, we have the end of the Franco-Prussian War with Germany as the victor. And in 1872, Victoria Woodhull becomes the first woman nominated for President of the United States, although she is a year too young to qualify. And in 1873, we have Emancipation Day for Puerto Rico. Slaves are freed with a few exceptions. And in 1874, the term Impressionism comes into being after an art exhibition in Paris. And in 1875, the United States Congress passes the Civil Rights Act, which prohibits racial discrimination in public accommodations and jury duty. So there you have it. This Neptune in Aries transit was full of idealistic change granting African Americans full civil rights and protection and the beginning of feminism in the West. New ideas of art started as well. In the next Neptune in Aries transit, we will see new spiritual leaders coming to rescue humanity from corruption. There will also be conflict, however, as these new ideals will foment revolution. In regards to the current ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, the typical Russian soldier is asking why they're fighting at all, as many consider Ukrainians as brethren, while Ukrainians themselves are fighting for a new freedom and identity. A new cry for freedom and utopian visions will burst, as these will be exacerbated further, with both Uranus entering Gemini in 2025 
and Pluto going into Aquarius in 2023. These times are laying the foundations for the age of Aquarius, where mankind will finally be united in universal brotherhood. So, this has been my take on Neptune in Aries. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a comment. And if you're new to my channel, why not subscribe? I have many other astrology videos for those who love to study the stars. So I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Be safe and kind to one another. And I'll see you in the next video. Godspeed.